Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. Okay, today this message is for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, I mixed my sun cards with my sex cards. I made both of these decks. I'll pull, I'll interpret it, I'll use it uh, traditional. Okay, um, can I get uh, sex cards please for Scorpio? Oh, sex cards. So is sex on your mind? I didn't even mean to say that. Okay. So you, you must really want to know about your love relationship, but I'm getting whatever comes out. Can I get, um, cards please for, um, Scorpio, please spirit. One card, please for Scorpio, please spirit. I just seen meditate. So you may, you may, um, need to meditate. You may be lacking meditation. Um, <clears throat> you, this just may be something as simple of needing a, a calmer environment. Okay. Can I, <clears throat> confirmation karma environment yeah shut up you're loud i'm getting that your your environment is loud it's distracting you're you're trying to get something done you could be um you could be saying this like shut up you're loud okay and then turning around and say forgive me because we have the forgive me shut up your loud card here Okay, um, I'm getting I'm getting that you're yelling at the top of your lungs, though. Okay, you may have said something and feel bad um, um, right after it, Scorpio. Okay, you could be definitely dealing. I'm hearing um, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, I, I, I'm getting that you're misunderstanding this Gemini. They just like to talk. Okay, they're just really chatty. I'm just I'm getting that you just need you need a um. A peace of mind though this could be your thoughts though okay you could be having racy thoughts your mind is in overdrive i'm getting like um eight of swords energy you keep thinking about the same thing over and over and over it, it may be in regards to um forgiveness uh wondering somebody's going to forgive you this may not have anything to do with you scorpio it may be somebody else the overall deck it says uh, play your cards right. So, like I said, reoccurring thoughts about um, your next move, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna say, how things are gonna go. Okay, I'm getting that you just want to quiet your mind. I'm gonna take that out those as confirmations. You just want to quiet your mind. Okay, um, you may be beating yourself up. Okay, mentally. Um, uh, because you keep thinking about the same thing or, or something that you've done, okay? Forgive yourself for whatever you think you did or did not do. Confirmation, my phone is blowing up. I feel like you just need to um, forgive yourself, okay? Um, this may have um, something to do with in regards to money, okay? I also hear gambling. Someone may have a gambling problem, okay? Or a bad habit or addiction, okay? I'm getting someone, I'm, I'm getting someone can't um, put something down or leave something alone, okay? I, I, I'm getting that, um, Someone keeps asking for forgiveness. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's not, it's really, yeah, it's not, it's not that. Like, they're lying, okay? Or they they can't help it, okay? You could be telling someone literally to shut up, stop talking, okay? Um, this could be because of, of, of lacking one, a lack of wanting to forgive someone, okay, Scorpio? But moving on. Can I get a card, please, for the shut up, you're loud? What, why is this card here? You could be talking to, um... A Taurus, okay, but I got the Queen of Pentacles here, so it could be your baby mother, your sister, a female in general, okay. Also got Leo energy here, okay. I, I'm also getting that someone is spilling your secrets, okay, or someone spilled your secrets and they want forgiveness, okay. I'm getting someone tried to play their cards, um, in a certain manner to try to get something to work in their favor. Definitely the Queen of Pentacles. This could be your baby mama. Okay. I, 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 I'm getting someone try to do something to so you don't leave them as well. Okay. So, okay. I'm, I'm getting someone's going to go out their way to prove to you that they're, that they, that they're sorry or they want forgiveness or, okay. They, they mean well with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, any earth sign or an air sign. But I, I feel like um I feel like this person really hurt you with the um overall deck being the ace of cups in reverse. You may hide this pain, okay? You may Scorpio, you may want you may want to um go to to someone's house, six of swords, four of um wands. You may want to go to someone's house and um and, and ask and ask them to forgive you or vice versa. This could be someone else. Like I said, an earth sign, air sign or fire sign could be coming to your house. Okay. They think that the best way to play their card Scorpio is to ask you to forgive them. Okay. But I'm getting, I'm getting that, that I, I hear the cat is already out the bag. Something has already happened. Okay. 
I feel like something is too painful, too hurtful. I feel like I feel like um, the best case of action is to resist them, to walk away and leave. Okay, we have, I don't know if you guys could see these cards. You see that? The best case of action is to resist them. Again, you guys could be in a situation where this person keeps calling you off the hook, um, sending you text messages. I'm hearing, I'm hearing they have a, a profound way to love you, okay? This could be definitely a fire sign, a Leo or an Aries, okay? Like I said, I feel like someone here is just like on their was on their high horse, and I feel like they're definitely getting knocked down. Yeah, um, six of swords and two of cups in reverse. Yeah, getting knocked down on their high horse. I'm actually getting that you're actually getting sent. You're being sent to um being another relationship with the water sign. Okay, this person could be the person that's on your mind consistently, uh, the person that you're having reoccurring thoughts about. Okay. This could be a situation where someone, where you left someone because you were confused whether you wanted to be with them or not. And I'm getting like now you, now you, now you made up your mind. You know that you have love for them. Yeah, King of Cups and in, in the upright. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's a fucking bright ass light. But the King of Cups is here in the upright. You've made up your mind. You have love for them. You love them. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I feel like at one point someone here, whether this is you or them, had a um. A colossal idea of like you know the way a relationship is supposed to be but i feel like once someone comes to terms where like um not everything is traditional or not everything is on um, that cookie cutter uh um picture um I'm, I'm getting that the relationship goes a lot better this could be just a situation where someone forgives um someone else in a relationship whether this is a friendship dynamic or relationship but um someone could be um forgiving and and that makes you move past a certain certain situation okay but even if even if this is a scenario where i say okay Jill, I forgive you for crossing me, you know, but I always know intuitively I will never go past Jill past an arm's length. You understand what I'm saying? Like, even though I forgive you, there's only a certain boundary that I'm going to have with you. You understand? So I feel like I feel like someone is doing that. OK, I feel like that's if, if you haven't done this, I feel like that's the best case in scenario. Make a boundary with someone and move on because I feel like I feel like ultimately with the Ten of Cups in reverse, like it, it's just an illusion. You're not gonna get that much far. You know, this could be a family dynamic. Okay, you could have been in a situation where you thought you were going to be with someone for like you know your end all be all, but I feel like someone has definitely been enlightened and enlightened or someone has been really reassessing um their thoughts and at the end of the day I, with the player cards right i always relate that to the um magician and energy someone is going to um you know take action take action to do what's best for them you guys could have been in a relationship with um this person this could be an earth sign it could be a sad uh, i'm gonna say any fire sign and we do have libra here i'm getting someone's going to take um action and make a choice because I feel like someone's been in a relationship for at least a year or three years and ultimately that cookie cutter um, picture doesn't look cookie cutter anymore. It actually looks old and jaded, okay? I feel like someone is going to choose to heal themselves, okay? Maybe this is talk all talking about self-love, self-care because the queen of pentacles here. You, you're going you're gonna to work on um, tempering yourself, healing yourself, and um, putting that TLC. I feel like someone is shutting up their thoughts in their mind by, by working on self-forgiveness and self-love and self-care. We do have the temperance card here. Here. that's what that forgiveness card is all about oh come on uh here we go that's what that temperance card is all about um not over judging yourself judgment in reverse not being harsh and critical on yourself okay um i feel like i feel like you could have been like i said really harsh really 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 harsh on yourself and now you're working on self-love and self-care this may have nothing to do with you you could be sitting back and watching someone do this and, and this inspires you to work on self-love self-care and forgiving yourself even amending um bad relationships with your family okay so i i feel like um influence is a motherfucker you know, and your environment is everything. You are what you hang around with. You are what you eat, and you are what you listen to. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting um, Scorpio. Um, listen to affirmations. Listen to healing music. Listen to things that make you feel good, especially in your mind, your mindset. This is all about your mind, okay? And you could have come from um, a situation, whether this is with your um, childhood or your current relationship in life. But I feel like. Um, it's time to walk away and heal yourself from where you lack attention, where you lack love, um, where things were, you know, just unstable. You could have come from a family where uh, it was tough growing up. However, I just want to, I don't want to generalize, general, 
I just want to generalize everybody's um, living situation as they are growing up. You know, however that may, this could be something as like not fitting in or um, dealing with parents that weren't very attentive or none, none there, lack thereof. Like, you know what I mean? Going in and out of foster homes or it's just like it's time to heal from all of that. This could be something that you are healing from. You're forgiving yourself for, for going through all of this stuff. Like I said, um, the mind is a hard thing to um, conquer, but I feel like this whole entire thing right now is all about conquering your mind, forgiving yourself, loving yourself. Yeah, you are the Hierophant in reverse, you know? I feel like you are the Hierophant in reverse, but at the end of the day, it's because we all have life lessons. As long as we are here on this earth, we are just spirits living a human life experience, learning lessons, okay? So your your biggest lesson could possibly be taking your time in relationships, taking your time um, um, with choosing people that you have ch um, children with. Um, your life lesson could be... Like I said, self-love and self-care. Your life lesson could be um, putting yourself first, going after positions and um, of work that is actually um, you're getting paid for what your worth is. Maybe you tend to go after jobs that only pay $10, $15 an hour, but you're actually worth $30, $40, $50 an hour type of person, you know? Um, so it's this, these are the lessons here. Okay. So we're all about shutting these, um, thoughts up because they're too loud and forgiving yourself. Baby, it's the you for you. All right.